the families of the two men killed last week in a crash with a Warren police squad car have filed a $100 million lawsuit against the department. CBS News Detroit's Jack Springate joins us live from where that crash happened with new details. Jack. Well, the families of Cedric Hayden Jr. and Dewan Pettis are looking to hold the Warren Police Department accountable for what they're calling negligence on behalf of the two officers who were involved in that crash. They've seen the surveillance footage that shows the moment the squad car barreled through a white Dodge Durango last week, and they say it gives them reason to question what they've heard from police so far. Figer Law claims this video, along with expert witness interviews, gives a clearer picture into what happened at the corner of Shaner and Prospect in Warren early Wednesday morning, but it doesn't bring back best friends, 34-year-old Cedric Hayden and 33-year-old Dewan Pettis. My dad can't watch me graduate, can't walk me down the aisle at my wedding when I'm older. We deserve an apology. Why did God take my, our dad? <laughs> Warren police say it wasn't because the squad car was involved in a high-speed chase. Even though the lawsuit claims the vehicle was traveling at or above 100 miles per hour, it also claims the squad car failed to activate any lights or sirens in the dark of night. It was like a bullet shot out of a, uh, out of a rifle. The information that we have through our investigation was at or above 100 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour uh, roadway. Both families are now seeking $100 million in damages in identical lawsuits. Our last words was, I love you. I don't want that to be our last word. That wasn't supposed to be our last words to each other. He was just going home. I can't look in the mirror. I can't walk nowhere and I'm seeing him. And the two men were on their way home from their jobs, one of them working at GM, the other one at Chrysler. And Hayden was just two blocks away from his home before these two close friends lost their lives. Now, the uh, Warren Police Department, they say that both of the officers involved in this crash are now in stable condition, but they're both on administrative leave, which is common during investigations that involve deaths or life-threatening injuries. The Macomb County Sheriff's Office says it will take at least one more week before they're able to release their findings. For now, reporting live in Warren, I'm Jack Springate, CBS News, Detroit. And difficult to hear from the children of those victims. Jack, thank you for the live report.